Should the Dallas Cowboys trade Dak Prescott? I don't think so. I understand that Dak Prescott had a really turnover prone year. All right. You saw how that 49ers game went. You saw how the game against Tennessee, Jacksonville, Houston went with multiple turnovers. But I don't think Dak Prescott is just all of a sudden this turnover prone quarterback. I don't think he's Jameis Winston. Sometimes you will have quarterbacks who just have one of those turnover ridden years where they just cough the football up more times than often or more times than not, excuse me. Dak Prescott, I think next season we could see him reverting back to his former self where he doesn't have a lot of mistakes. That has always kind of been the player that we've always thought of when it comes to Dak Prescott. Yeah, he may not be the most physically gifted. He may not have the strongest arm. He may not be crazy athletic, but the dude is consistent and he takes care of the football. That's always what we used to think when we thought of Dak Prescott. But ever since he got paid, he kind of has been a slightly different player. He's been more aggressive. He's been a little bit more erratic in his play. There was a play where Dak Prescott just locked on to C.D. Lamb. He had T.Y. Hilton wide open on the left. And instead, he just tried to fit it in to C.D. Lamb. The dude got tunnel vision. There was another play late in the game. You saw when Arik Armstead, it looked like Arik Armstead was about to land him out for the safety and seal the game. He ends up doing a spin move. He breaks out of that. And I'm thinking he's about to make a fantastic play. And he ends up doing nothing. It's just like the dude in certain situations looks lost. He looks like a deer in headlights. I feel if you're Dallas, you can win with Dak Prescott. Dak Prescott, you may not view him as a top 10 quarterback or a top 15 quarterback. At the same time, though, he does make this offense better. Yeah, you may not be somebody who cares all that much about the numbers because you're probably going to say, well, JT, what does he do in big games? Yeah, but I don't think Dak Prescott is a Kirk Cousins. Dak Prescott, the difference between him and Kirk Cousins is that Kirk Cousins is too conservative in big games. Kirk Cousins doesn't take enough chances in big moments. Prime example, look at his last play against the New York Giants in the wild card round exit. The last play, fourth down. You need a first down to keep the drive alive. What does Kirk Cousins do? He throws the check down to TJ Hawkinson. Dak Prescott, his problem is simply is the fact that he can't take care of the ball. You can fix that. Dak Prescott used to be a really good quarterback when it came to taking care of the football. I don't think there's no reason why you can't coach him back to being that player. Turnovers can be fixed. Brian Dable fixed Daniel Jones' turnover issues. So if Brian Dable can fix the turnover issues of Daniel Jones, there's no reason why Dak Prescott's turnover issues can't be fixed. Hell, Sean Payton, his final year in New Orleans, they were 5-1 and one before Jameis went down with that injury. He had the best touchdown to interception ratio during that span when he was a starting quarterback that season. So if Sean Payton can fix Jameis Winston's turnover issues and Brian Dable can fix the turnover, issue, the turnover issues of Daniel Jones, Dak Prescott's turnover issues can be fixed. Dak Prescott is a solid quarterback. You can win with, this, with a Dak Prescott. Dak Prescott on a good year is a... Top 10 quarterback. On a good year, you probably rank him 9th or 10th. Now, on a, you know, normal year for Dak Prescott, he's a top 15 QB, but you can make it to a Super Bowl with a top 15 QB. San Francisco went to the Super Bowl with Jimmy Garoppolo. They were a missed throw away from winning it. So, people have this narrative that you got to have an elite quarterback to win. Everybody can't have an elite quarterback. That's just how it goes. I don't think Dak Prescott was overpaid. I think that Dak Prescott got paid 
the right contract for the current state of the quarterback market. He's not making Mahomes like money. He's not going to be making Joe Burrow kind of money. Those are the elite quarterbacks. And the elite quarterbacks, they don't grow on trees. Now, you can make the argument for trading Dak Prescott and say, well, JT, this is America's team. We should have the best of the best. We shouldn't be okay with good. We need great. And if you want to use that argument for why you should trade Dak Prescott, okay. But my question is, who are you going to replace him with? Where are you going to find the cap space to replace Dak Prescott? Are you going to go after Lamar? Are you going to have the money to pay Lamar? Are you going to have the money to go after a top-level quarterback? Are you going to be able to draft a top-level quarterback? Like, who are you going to replace Dak Prescott with that's out there that could potentially be an upgrade? You see the problem? Who up there? Who out there right now is an upgrade from Dak Prescott? You may say Aaron Rodgers, but he isn't officially on the trade block. You damn sure ain't going to say Derek Carr or Jimmy Garoppolo. Your only option is going to be Lamar. If, he, if he's up for trade, then Baltimore and him can't come to terms on a new contract. So who out there right now could Dallas realistically get that would be an upgrade from Dak Prescott? So right now, if you're Dallas, even if you wanted to move on from Dak Prescott, there's no better options out there right now that you have the compensation to give up in exchange for an Aaron Rodgers. You could get a Derek Carr, but that's a lateral move. You're not getting better going from Dak Prescott to Derek Carr or Dak Prescott to Jimmy Garoppolo. So if Dak Prescott ends up getting traded, who would be his replacement? Exactly. There's nobody out there who would be a perfect upgrade over Dak Prescott. I promise you, it's a lot harder to find a Dak Prescott than it is to find a Kirk Cousins. Kirk Cousins and Dak Prescott, I understand why people compare them because you have the same narratives about them in big games. But the thing with Dak Prescott and Kirk Cousins is that Dak Prescott actually will push the football down the field. And Dak Prescott, I think, is probably a little bit better late in games than Kirk Cousins in certain instances. Dak Prescott, he isn't completely a wash in big primetime games. The dude has won a couple of big games throughout his career. Kirk Cousins, not too many. I think Dallas can win with Dak Prescott. Yes, the turnovers this year really frustrate you. And it frustrates you with how he played against the 49ers. He got outplayed by Brock Purdy. But it's not like Brock Purdy had a fantastic game neither. So for Dak Prescott... I think that he'll bounce back next season. He was coming back from that injury. I, I'm not trying to make excuses for Dak Prescott. I'm just saying that realistically, who are you going to replace Dak Prescott with? Who is out there in free agency or who's out there for a trade who Dallas could realistically get and say they're an upgrade from Dak? Other than Aaron Rodgers and Lamar, you don't got too many options.